I know, hot tub networking does work. But if that's a little aggressive for you or you're worried about uh, taking off your shirt, by the way, Aaron Patcher is my shirtless mentor, super smart. As soon as it hits 55 degrees, has a half a reason, bam, shirt off, gets distribution. Have you heard of mint? Do you realize how mint started? Aaron Patcher, shirt off. Hotel bar. So if you want to not take your shirt off, and you want to try to not network in hot tubs, the hotel bar is a slam dunk winner. You don't have to drink. You don't even have to buy people drinks. You just need to hang around the hotel bar, and this is how you do it. This is how to network at a conference where the epicenter of the epicenter is the hotel bar. So the way a conference works is there's two or three levels of events. They're splattered all over the place. They're at the let's stay with the Westin. So there's two floors and the events go nine o'clock to four, five, or six o'clock. Now, around eight, nine, ten o'clock, people kind of don't want to go home and go to bed. And they kind of want to hang out. Where do they do that? The hotel bar. You want to squat a table, uh, an elevated table where you're not allowed to sit. And you want to squat that kind of table and maybe bring balloons, maybe bring flowers. You're gonna feel like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? But the reaction of executives when you bring balloons is always positive. I've never seen an exec say, oh, I hate balloons, get out of here. They're always like, oh, you brought balloons. I saw you earlier today. So balloons signify and signal and indicate that you are open to people approaching you because you're holding two balloons. Now I know it takes a lot of confidence and this is almost a, a sequel topic of how to show up with a bunch of confidence for doing networking with balloons. But a hotel bar, this is how you do it. You don't have to order alcohol for everybody. You can just milk a tonic or a cranberry soda, okay, non-alcoholic. But what you want to do is you want to bring a bunch of $5 bills. If you're foreign, it's the one with Abraham Lincoln. He freed a bunch of us uh, during the Civil War. So you want to bring a bunch of Abraham Lincoln and you want to tip the bartenders because you will be asking for the smallest of favors. Uh, coat check, bag check, uh, just helping people not be saddled and straddled with their junk because when you go to these conferences you become like this pack mule and there will be chief technology officers okay will look like a pack mule and a pack mule is where you bring a small horse that made it with a donkey and you just straddle it with a bunch of backpacks so these pack mules so then you want to try to host them in your little hotel bar thing now, typically you're gonna look like a kid and you're gonna be, your co-founder is gonna be another kid and that's why we're practicing doing startups. No exec's gonna be like, oh, thank you for taking care of my backpack and help having find the bellhop, okay? Now buy me, you know, a McKellen 18, which is like a $45 shot. They're not gonna do that. They're gonna be like, oh, thank you so much because the person will give you a claim check They'll give you a claim check. I don't have any on me. This is similar. So they'll give you a claim check for the backpack and the executive will be so thankful that you relieved him of pack mule duties. Uh, that's an, uh, an effort to host while you're at the hotel bar that you are not buying people drinks on. So you're trying to add value and you're trying to give people a reason to hang out with you while you pitch whatever you're trying to cadaver and bring back do CPR from the dead on. Some of these things are incredibly difficult for an Ivy League person to do because they don't wanna host. They wanna be discovered. They don't wanna uh, do uh, social, be the social lubricant, they feel as if they should just show up and just be the VIP. Guess what? Most VIPs in this world are hosts and the guests who show up wanting to just be VIPs, they don't get any distribution. And that is at exactly the heart of the matter. 
they think that going home and just working on their product 24 7 they don't have to get out there and promote it that's why we're editing this dead cadaver and that's why we're having to do these seemingly menial tasks of working the hotel bar like a floor whore like a prostitute that we're not exchanging sexual favors for money we are exchanging hosting and lubrication and showing people our badge uh, in exchange for a little bit of attention in what is it we are trying to pitch, aka mentor people on.